Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10-minute talks that give a high-level overview or an in-depth small portion of a PHP-related topic. Lightning Talks are a great, great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for long-time speakers to test drive new talk ideas. Right now we have Sebastian Feldman. Tonight he's going to be talking about backup, how PHP BU can help. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Sebastian some feedback. So, thank you, Joe. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, uh, just a, a little short introduction about myself. Um, I'm currently working at a, a mid-size internet company as a team lead, and I'm doing a PHP roughly since uh, 2000, I think. And um, yeah, I say stupid stuff on the internet, so you can follow me if you're interested. So, the next 10 minutes are all about uh, making backup easy. So, uh, what is backup all about? Um, it's, uh, generally, it's about uh, copying some data. And, um, yeah, if, uh, maybe you want to check the, the data you, you've copied and uh, then put it uh, somewhere safe, some uh, yeah, backup machine or, uh, or the cloud. And uh, yeah, then you want to clean up your local backup uh, location so your uh, hard drive isn't spammed with uh, with backups. And uh, um, in the best case, you have a notification if uh, something is going wrong with your backup. So um, what uh, does PHPBU uh, do for you? It's uh, doing exactly that and uh, a little bit more. Uh, actually, but uh, what uh, is uh, PHPBU? PHPBU is uh, um, so PHP uh, command line tool, um, and um, you can uh, easily install it um, uh, via Composer. Uh, just require PHP, PHPBU, PHPBU. Um, or you can just uh, git clone the GitHub repository and run Composer install to um, install all the dependencies. But the uh, most recommended way, I would say, is uh, to use the uh, FAR archive you can download from the PHPBU website. And uh, now let's assume we are doing this. And um, so we are downloading the uh, FAR archive and uh, putting it somewhere in our uh, path, so we can execute it from uh, anywhere on your system. So um, just to make sure everything went the right way, um, you can uh, execute PHPBU and you should see the help screen that um, should look um, something like that. And um, yeah, and to actually execute uh, your backup, uh, you have to create a little configuration file to tell PHPBU what you want to backup. So, you have to create a small configuration file. You can do it in XML or in JSON. For this presentation, I choose the, uh, the XML style. Um, this is maybe the, the smallest configuration possible. For, for a valid PHPBU backup file, um, you have uh, one backup configured, a source um, uh, where, you <coughs> where you get your data from, in this case uh, a MySQL uh, database, um, and you have to specify a target uh, where you want to store your, your backup. Um, the configuration is uh, in best case saved as phpbu.xml. Um, if you save it with this name, uh, PHPU detects uh, your configuration automatically and you don't have to specify the, uh, the configuration via, uh, via a uh, command line argument. So we just save it as phpbu.xml and we run PHPBU. And if everything goes the right way, you should see something like this, um, one executed backup. So What's with the other task we were talking about? Oh, if you want to get some, uh, yeah, some debug information right now. So um, if you want to go, no, want to know what's uh, going on uh, 
in the, in the background, you can just add uh, the debug uh, flag and can see what arguments are actually executed in the background. So, but now really we're, we're going to, to check uh, the backup we've created. And this is uh, one of the checks uh, you can do with PHPView. Um, just check your backup for a minimum size. It's, uh, here it's specified with uh, 10 megabytes. And um, if uh, your backup isn't big enough, you will we get an error message, and uh, yeah, you know, maybe the backup something went wrong. So um, check was the first one, but uh, what if you want to put your backup somewhere, somewhere else, not to not keep it on the machine you were back executing your backups. So um, with PHP U, you can actually uh, sync your backups to to a lot of uh, services. Uh, you can use uh, Amazon. Uh, copy com Dropbox. Um, you can run an uh, rsync command or just uh, do it uh, with SFTP. Uh, for this example, I did uh, uh, Dropbox. Um, don't mind, this is no action, uh, actual uh, Dropbox RP key. This is just an example. So, um, yeah, this will uh, put your backup uh, up to your Dropbox. And uh, so, next step, clean up backup location. So, um, in this case, I uh, specified an, uh, I clean up by, by quantity. I just want to keep 10, 10 of my backups. Uh, you can uh, clean up by capacity. You can specify something like, hey, I just want to keep 500 megabytes of backup. And uh, or if it's outdated, let's say you want to keep uh, two weeks of backup. And um, yeah, if uh, something is older or using more space, the oldest backups uh, got deleted automatically. Yeah, and uh, if you care about security or um, if you don't want to put uh, plain data into your cloud account, or you have really sensitive data, of course, you can encrypt it. Um, currently, only mCrypt is available, but uh, yeah, maybe this will change over time. But uh, yeah, here you can uh, see how uh, you configure an encryption for your backup. Just put these lines in, and uh, we'll be fine. So if we run the configuration again with PHPBU, um, your output should look something like this. As you can see, there's one backup, one check, one crypt, one sync, and one cleanup. And everything uh, looks fine. As, you said, as I said earlier, it's, uh, maybe you want to receive an email if something goes wrong or, or report for every, every backup you create. And uh, this is possible uh, with with, uh, with a logger. Um, there's a mail logger and a JSON logger here. In this example, I uh, pasted the mail logger. Uh, you just uh, specify the uh, some recipients. In this case, I sent this mail only to me. And um, yeah, if you execute the backup, you automatically receive a, a backup report uh, via email. And uh, like I said, if you uh, only want to receive emails if something goes wrong. That's uh, also possible as well. So this is um, the whole configuration file. Um, it's a very, uh, yeah, not not very detailed. You can specify lots of options for for all the uh, all these all the things to. Therefore, the source from MySQL dump, you can specify username, databases, uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, we should check out the documentation for that. Um, but PHP does not only backup uh, MySQL, it uh, backups directories, MySQL, MongoDB, ArangoDB, and uh, yeah, it uh, syncs to uh, the uh, cloud spaces, I, services I uh, told you before, and uh, the you can do any rsync command with it 
So in your own network, you can sync your, your backups very easily. Hope I wasn't going too fast. Um, my watch is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but if you have any, uh, uh, if you want to have any further information, you, it's uh, best to check out the PHPView uh, website. Uh, you can follow the PHPView Twitter account to get notified about any uh, version updates or upcoming changes. And uh, yeah, that's uh, about it. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Nomad PHP Lightning Talk, please email joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit joined in in the link and leave Sebastian some feedback. Mm -hmm.